In November, people in both the southern and northern hemispheres are preparing for future harvests. Despite being unaware of each other's existence, they are linked by international trade. Sorel de Jaeger is the general manager of farming operations at Kofco International in South Africa. The company recently signed a partnership agreement with the Valbank de Koch Farm, located in the Free State. With this visit, Sorel aims to implement the details of the collaboration, which coincides with the corn planting season on the farm. Blessed by recent rain, the soil is moist, creating an opportune moment for sowing. Moist is still a bit wet, but I think by this afternoon, tomorrow, we'll be full steam planting. Okay, yeah, so we are looking forward to, to having a good crop from this unit. Maybe we must just give it a couple of minutes to dry down a bit better. But, yeah, I think it's looking good. On the other side of the world, as the summer heat lingers in the subtropical southern Chinese city of Guangzhou, Huang Genzai tends to his fish pond in the cool morning breeze. He has just received a new batch of fish fry. If well raised, these fish fry will be ready for harvest and served on the tables of Guangzhou residents in six months. With the same subtropical climate, the Free State has become a crucial zone for agricultural production in South Africa due to its favorable weather conditions. In the first half of, of this year, we then started exporting to China. Uh, hopefully in future, that will grow in, in volume. Kofco Group has entered into long-term supply agreements with 62 farms in South Africa, covering a cultivated area of over 70,000 hectares. Corn is the predominant local crop, contributing to approximately 40% of total agricultural output, with its export volume ranking among the top in the world. I think we compare relatively good with uh, any other country in the world in terms of our quality of our crops. On May 4th, 2023, the first shipment of field corn exported from South Africa to China arrived at the Ma Chong port in Guangdong province. The grain was promptly delivered to domestic feed enterprises. Huang Genzai is a renowned fish farmer in the region. He receives a visit from representatives of the feed enterprise, who are eager to learn about the effects of the new feed. Thanks to its reliable yield and quality, South African corn has successfully captured the Chinese market. <laughs>